Hey, what's up guys? Uh, gonna be running through a way to set up your own private server of the Rune Optimizer. If you've been using it and loving it, you've probably seen that it has uh, some flaws <laughs> going through their servers. Uh, it gets bogged down a lot, especially coming up on a Rune Removal Day and just certain other times. Um, but definitely the closer you get to Rune Removal Day, the more bogged down it gets. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our own private instance of the Rune Optimizer. Uh, it's fairly simple to do. It's not, it's not difficult or anything like that. It takes a little bit of time, but it's nothing that's really difficult. So the first thing you've got to do is go ahead and download XAMPP from ApacheFriends.org. See here, let's go ahead and close out of these. This is my last video I just made. Okay, so you're gonna to want to go down here. Uh, since I am making these tutorials for, for Mac, of course, I want this for OS X one, but these are the same exact steps for, uh, for Windows. Um, I suppose for Linux too, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know many people that use Linux, but I definitely want the XAMPP out for OS X. So after you download that, go ahead and run through the installation and it should pop up a window that looks similar to this. Okay, so this is what XAMPP looks like. Um, I don't know if there's an easier way to say that. ZAMP or something like that. <laughs> I don't really know. But anyway, so we've got this set up now. Uh, it's pretty much good to go. If you want to, you can go ahead right now and make sure this Apache and MySQL are running. Um, these are the two that you're going to need to make the optimizer work. Anytime you're running it, um, it seems like my buddy that does this on Windows, he doesn't need these to be running uh, for him to use his own local instance. I don't know if maybe he already has SQL and Apache somehow working for him on his computer. I don't know. But for me to run it anytime, I have to have these two running. So now that you've got that done, you're going to want to go to the optimizers page. Uh, go right here, this import export tab, and you're going to want to find this paragraph here. It says new. I don't know how long it's going to be saying this. But anyway, this paragraph here. Go to the end, download the latest one, of course, the uh, for me right now, obviously, it's the V1.06, um, and it's a, a pretty small download. You really don't need too much help with it. Um, after you do that, I'm going to go back to my finder and do the Shift-Command-F keys and bring this up. What you're going to want to search for is... Find it, uh, php.ini, php.ini. Okay, go back over to this Mac instead of all my files. Right here, it's a text document. Okay, just go ahead and pop it open. Got this popped open. It's not gonna get any bigger for you. You're gonna want to actually modify a couple of lines. Do command F to find. We're gonna be looking for max execution time max. Exec should pull it up. Boom, max execution time. It will say something else. I don't remember what it is. Change it to 900. I think it's shorter. I think in the, the original it's like 60 or something like that. I don't remember. Change it to 900. Now, control F, you're going to want to change max input. Okay, max input time, uh, change it to 90. Okay, the next one, you're going to want memory underscore limits, whoop, limit. Change it right here to 512M. Okay, next, we're going to want the po post, not pot. Max, there we go, post max size, change it to 16M, okay? So now you can go ahead and save this, just hit Command S, whatever you need to do, um, just go ahead and save it, close it, you're fine, okay? Done with it now, I was on the wrong folder earlier when I said copy it all, you don't need that, okay? So now. Go back to this window here. You're going to want to do a search for SW runes. Okay, go back to Mac. 
and as you see I've actually downloaded this a couple of times I need to clear these out but anyway you just want this folder here SW Ruins you're going to want to either like uh, uh, control click it and hit copy right here um, and then what you're going to want to do is go back to this type in ht docs go here double click pop it open and then you will paste it as you can see I have one right here it's got all of my information in it and whatnot that's what you're going to do post it or paste it I mean inside this ht docs folder okay you can just right click hit paste item after that you're going to want to go to your XAMPP folder uh, application I mean make sure these Apache and SQL uh, databases are running you will absolutely need those after that you're going to want to go to ah, go to ah, I don't want to do it there go to localhost flash okay and this is what you should see this uh, welcome to XAMPP um, there you go happy birthday so make sure this is all working and stuff if uh, I haven't seen it not work it's pretty simple to go through but anyway after you've got that done shut up phone <laughs> after you go after you have this open and make sure it's running we're gonna want to go back to here finder find this type in s I messed up on my little cheat sheet sqls sqls dot text you could already see it popping up sqls dot text go ahead and go ahead and copy it boom uh, copy oh, no, no 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 I take that back that's wrong this is the one that you do want to open it all okay so open it hit control a control C okay now you can close out of this you're going to want to go go to your PHP my admin PHP my admin click on your SQL tab and paste that information in here everything that was in that little sheet here it is okay click on go down here all right and it'll pop up a little message that says something about no rows returned or something like that and then you refresh the page and after you refresh that you'll see this which was not here before this SW runes okay so if you have this you can click on it it doesn't really do too much and a little SW optimizer and whatnot okay that's cool so what you're going to want to do after that is go to lol go to lol no, localhost slash uh, SW rooms slash and here you go you have your optimizer working as you can see it looks basically exactly the same okay there is not much difference to it uh, this one already has my rune information in it or are these mine they may be hers I don't know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so there you go. That's your own instance of the Rune Optimizer. You know, if you watch my other video, you can see a quick tutorial on how to go through this stuff, but I will go ahead and run through one right now. Go to Tyron. Uh, let's go ahead and put him on despair and do speed, crit damage, and attack just for funsies. Uh, turn off the inventory stuff because I don't care because this is ridiculously fast okay so I want some go ahead and do attack and crit rate I usually only do one focus but for this one I'll just go ahead and do both uh, go to plus 15 stats and since I have focuses in here go to go if I didn't put in focuses I would click go here look at that goes through 4,000 builds in about one and a quarter seconds is that not ridiculous okay <laughs> So you can sort by crit rate right now. My runes for despair are pretty shitty, but you get 58% crit rate. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick filter of 
Over 50% crit rate. Uh, plus 15 stats. Now it's over crit damage. 119 is the highest. Okay. Now if I want to keep this above 50% crit rate, it's worth by speed. I can only get to 162 speed. Um, if I were to change, take my crit rate back away, you see I can now get to 179 speed. Um, and as you see, I have speed HP accuracy. This green line here is your current build. But anyway, you can filter by, or sort, I mean, by HP, attack, defense, speed, crit, speed, crit rate, crit damage, resistance, accuracy, DPS, which these guys, I believe, sort DPS, or calculate DPS as attack times speed converted to a decimal so 100 speed would be 1.00 200 speed would be 2.00 okay so attack times speed converted to a decimal times crit rate converted to a decimal so 69 percent will be 0.69 crit damage converted to a decimal 200 percent crit rate would be or crit damage i mean would be two and you multiply all those together and now you have your dps uh it's pretty cool effective hp is stuff that I don't truly understand yet. But anyway, there you go. Now you've got your own instance of the rune optimizer. The only other thing that you will need to do from time to time is go here. You're going to want to do this localhost slash SW runes slash and do maintenance maintenance dot php and run that. It'll pop back up like this. It clears out all your old files and stuff. Uh, like your old searches and whatnot, and yeah, it just cleans it up. You don't want to store too many things on your device because I was running one this morning. It brought me back over 8 million possible builds. So <laughs> you definitely don't want that kind of stuff sitting around, especially if you do it more than once. So anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, you've now got your own private instance of the optimizer running. So during rune removal day, you won't be bogged down by anything. It's limited only by your device, your RAM and whatnot. Um, so there you go. It's pretty simple, doesn't really take too terribly long, and it's much more reliable. Hey guys, what's going on? Don't forget to check out my guild, Guiltless, part of Guilty Inc. We have two guilds in our family right now. We have Guiltless and Guilty Pleasure, being one word. Uh, feel free to add us online to ask us any questions you would like. You can see the names right here. There are Rock on ACDC being me, Dirty Cotton, our leader, and Codebreaker21, our other vice. So any questions you might have, if you're thinking about joining the guild, if you're looking for a new guild, uh, just want some advice, just want a Summoner's War uh, line group to be a part of, go ahead and hit us up.